Hey there, welcome back to Infinite Well. So, I was just looking at my map, and I just realized something. Yeah, sure, I can give uh, the guy the $30, Jeff. But then again, look at all these side quests that just popped up. Quite a few. So part of me is wondering if I should do them now. I really want to do them. I'm actually enjoying the side quests. Also, this one, I believe, is the guy and the Hulu chick. But also, I can just go right here and give Jeff Tacos his um, $30. I'm wondering which one I want to do, because there's quite a few side quests here. But then again, I have a lot of game left, so I can always do the side quests then. I'm actually more intrigued right now with the story. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna continue the story. As much as I'm enjoying the... Amazing... Uh, honestly, every side quest has been kind of enjoyable, except the one where we're trying to help the guy find his hotel. Other than that one, I've been enjoying all the side quests. And as usual, my favorite one is the pound mates, because they're hilarious. Because everyone thinks that means something else. Hey, Fatso! Ah, uh, it's you. I've got your money. That's enough to get you to talk? Hmm, I suppose. What should I be talking about again? My passport got stolen three days ago. I want to know if someone brought it by. Hmm, someone sure did. Really? She was Japanese, and not to mention gorgeous. That sounds like her. No doubt that passport was yours. <laughs> I couldn't forget that thuggish face or blown up hair if I tried. Okay, so she sold it to you? Oh no, she wasn't here to make money. She just wanted to know if it would get her into District 5. District 5? Uh, that's the Barracuda's hideout. Their hideout? You mean the guys from yesterday? Yeah, they got a squatter encampment across the river. It's all fenced in with guards posted up at every corner. And if you're not one of them, huh, no good luck getting in or out. Okay, and how's my passport supposed to get someone in? Well, they have an interesting rule. If you're an outsider, they tell you to go steal a passport. Why is that exactly? That's how they make their money, fabricating passports. Apparently, the only way to make a good fake is by Does altering an original. Passports back to them? Every passport I, I buy, know. I sell to them. Though not oh, directly. so yeah, he does. Okay. So someone else's passport is your ticket to District 5, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> and the girl who came by with yours, that ticket's probably long gone. Damn it. Though, a girl like her should not be anywhere near District 5 by herself. Oh, wait. I tried to tell her, but no. Nobody listens to Jeff. Then what would make her even want to go in there? Beats me. But I doubt you'll see your passport again, brother. Once it's in District 5, it does not leave. Well, I need it back. And I've got business with the thief who took it. Yeah. Well, you can kiss your thief goodbye, too. Unless you follow her into District 5 somehow. Your adventure ends here, pal. Well, you heard him. I'd rather live to see tomorrow, so... Listen, Akane-san's mixed up in some real bad stuff. Someone might even be holding her captive. And right now, Chitose's our only lead. Hmm. Can we get into District 5 another way? <laughs> I mean, maybe. But you're better off just swiping a passport. Hey, if there's another way, just tell us. Look, bottom line. District 5 is an impenetrable fortress of bombs. But if you're a cop, you could probably get in. A cop? Yeah, <laughs> they do a monthly sweep there, claiming it's for safety reasons. But they just walk in and out, ignoring all the atrocities inside. They just doing it to keep up appearances. All they care about is that and donuts. Anyway, if you want to know the guy in charge, his name is Roman. He's probably in deep with the Barracudas. So we'll ask Roman to bring us along on patrol. That could be an option. Man, I never want to see a cop again. 
true. You're still a wanted man. Maybe leave the talking to me. Hmm, guys, you gotta realize. Roman's gonna fly this as a risk. And he's a greedier jerk-off than me. Expect to pay him 50,000 bucks. Uh, a buck's like a hundred yen, right? That'd be... Five million in yen? Please don't bring him yen. And besides, there's no way you can afford it. Is it clear you're wasting your time yet? No. I'd say this is our chance. Why? <laughs> you have a mattress full of money lying around? No. Everything is negotiable, that's all. Huh. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but what's the harm in trying? He drinks every night at Diamond Head, a bar by District 5. We Akamai now? Sure. Hey, we really doing this? Yep. Hey guys, could you hold up a second? Why? Something wrong? You really shouldn't go to District 5. I'm saying this for your own good. Waltzing right into Barracuda Turf? It's practically suicide. We're aware of the danger, but we don't have time on our side. If going into District 5 is the quickest way to solve things, then so be it. Right. And it's not like we're out to wreck the place. We're just gonna look for Chitose and get out. Yeah, if things play out right, we might not have to deal with the Barracudas at all. See? It's exactly that kind of thinking that's gonna get us all killed! <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Maybe they're more dangerous than we realize because we're not from here. But what's this really all about? Something tells me you've got more to say. You have history with the Barracudas? Is that it? You know, you can always tell us. What makes you think we wouldn't help? He's right. And until you talk, he'll hound you to the ends of the earth. You know how persistent he is. Really gotta put it like that? Uh... So, this is far from a fun story. And not a short one either. It all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, nothing like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but I, I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. I believe we almost had a kid, and look it back. Those were the best days of my life. Huh. Never knew you had a family. And my girl. Her name was Marie. She was astounding. Uh -oh. And you guys would have loved her. The was is past tense. Anyway, she was nearly six months pregnant when it happened. And the cops showed up at our place with a warrant for my arrest. They came to arrest you? For what? They said I held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive. What the hell? I was being framed, obviously. But the witnesses kept pouring in. And before I knew it, the judge gave me five years in prison. And the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they'd lock me for 15 years instead. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was... Either I swallow the five years, or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I had my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, it was gone. <sighs> I never even understood why. That is, until I got to prison. Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean, the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. They'll bring in a bunch of fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman, that cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. 
Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she miscarried. No. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I doubt she was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. All because this bullshit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, I couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there doing okay. I told you this wasn't gonna be fun. And that's only half the story. Once I was free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant near District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's boss. So I spent every last cent I had to my name and bought a gun. Shit. For revenge? For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, I always imagined it going the exact same way. I'd rush past his goons, step right up to him, and empty my whole clip point blank. And the moment came. I was shaken. Couldn't move. <sighs> He even had fewer guards than I'd pictured. Should have been easy. Bastard walked right past me. He didn't have a care in the world. I'm a fucking coward. Maybe. But that's why you're alive today. If you'd gone through with it, you would have been killed. Just another gutted corpse. At least I'd have been killed for a reason. What am I now? A ghost? Robs tourists with a gun he hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? Tomisawa. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai to pay my debts. He's the only man left in Hawaii still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. What's that say about me? Huh? I'm even stupider for following him. Maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it had never happened. So that's my story. Hope you realize now who you're dealing with. Not just the Barracudas. With scum like me. Well, you sure set us straight about how bad the Barracudas can get. Yeah. Their ties with the police are worrying. But listen. You've got yourself all wrong, Tomizawa. Huh? You're not a bad guy. And you're no coward. I saw you walk away from Yamai. That took real courage. He might have killed you, but you knew it was the right thing to do. Come on, man. You talked me into it. That doesn't matter. You made the decision. It was your call. Nobody else's. Now, no more Robin people, okay? Can we agree on that? <laughs> yeah. Huh. After all you've been through, I get that this may be a fight you want to walk away from. But if you really think you're scum, that you're just another criminal, this might be the only way to change that. A way to start living again. <sighs> Look, killing the boss of the Barracudas or not, that's another call you'll have to make yourself. All I know is that I'm not gonna stand by and let them keep getting away with their shit. And if you're up for it, I know you'll be able to help us take them down. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, our English is pretty rough. We could use a translator. Besides that, we need to find Akane-san fast. That means going to District 5. And I don't know anybody as well acquainted with the Hawaiian underworld as you. Help us out, and maybe get the chance to set things right. Not a bad deal, is it? What do you think, Kiryu-san? Hmm. Maybe dangerous. But it could also be your one path to redemption. 
You two are some lousy salesmen, honestly. If you're still planning to take the Barracudas on after all you've heard, we are. And fine, I'll go with you. <laughs> Do gooders like you? The Barracudas will eat you alive without me. Yeah. <laughs> eat you alive. I get it. <laughs> Glad to have you on board, Tomizawa. You're both nuts. Fine. First things first. We find Roman. You have a good eye for teammates. <laughs> it's not hard to tell when someone needs a friend. Let's do this. Man, that sucks. He was gonna be a father and everything was going well for him, only for him to be framed for something he didn't do, to go to prison, and miscarriage, and she leaves him. Friends with Ruby. Ruby is half. Oh, someone's got himself 15 friends. Yoo hoo, Ichi. Bomb. You're linking up the storm, huh? We should chat and get it resolved when you got the time. Oh, hey, guess what? Damn. Alright, that's not what I wanted. Get off that. Alright, so we gotta go over here. Oh, look at the little side quest waiting to be done. Oh, but that story was really sad. Hmm. You want to I'm gonna keep going. What are you looking? What are you looking Let's at? Let's see what you got. Tell me what you got. That's picking time. Something wrong? Are oh, you getting scared? Trap me, bitch. <laughs> Looks like I'm up. Allow me. <laughs> Don't get Let's get it. Here we go. Don't look down now. My heart is crazy. Damn, how I, I wonder how my Sujimon index is looking. All right, let's do this. We shall continue with the story. Side quests await. Later. I'll also, one day, I'm just gonna take a nice walk around this entire map. And I'll record it this one. Ooh, that's a purple. Guys in cars that will fight you? Man, they really are bringing. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of mad people that way. Oh, no. There's... Found you. You're really pissing me off. Let's do it. That's kicking time. Here we go. 
Just the part of there. All right. Hey, you there? This ain't a show, dude. Oh, they're purple. They're purple. They're purple. Okay. Mmm, they're purple. Which, yes, is a problem. Which means... I'm gonna need weapons, probably. Alright, alright. We have the taxi unlocked. You have to give me a second. I'm trying to think here. They're purple, which is probably gonna be a major pain in my butt. Right, I'm gonna go here. Well, actually, I might as well do this on the way there. Run on home to mama. Bring it on. Run on home to mama. That's ticket time. Allow me. Don't get caught. Looks like that am up. Something wrong? Got you now. Here we go. Aloha. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's so expensive. Oh, oh my gosh. I can wear a wedding. Thank you. Um, I think the weapon shop's gonna be a bit pricey. Aloha. Yep. Oh dear. Thank you for. Okay, I chose the wrong place to look at weapons. Oh, okay, I was going over there. Oh, okay. okay. Speed limit 25. Ah, I understand that. There's a. Um, have some bird food. Okay. You know, guy? Yeah, come over here. Come over here. There's a motorcycle. I want to show it to you. You're gonna pay for this. Tell me what you got. You're gonna pay for this. That's ticket time. Oh, okay. That might be a curious thing. Allow me. Let's go. Damn. performers in Japan, but Hawaii's go all out. You turn a corner and there's someone swallowing fire. There's a lot of history behind public performance here. And this area is especially popular with tourists. A lot of acts have actually gotten their start just nearby. Oh, so these streets are like gateways to fame. In a gene show, there was a guitar duo that got paid from busking. Guess it's kind of like that here. A street performer to sign? <laughs> Ain't that the dream. Oh, why don't we try it? We could get scouted! Make our major label debut. 
Sounds fun, all right. Yeah, let's rock the world! We'll change entertainment forever! Wait, wait. first, we, we gotta learn sheet music. You're not joking, are you? <laughs> I guess we're starting the band. Yeah, good luck trying to find your husband. Don't you miss me, I'll on. Oh, these guys are... It's basically the ShamWow guy. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. What's that say? Shopping Wow. Uh huh. Time to take out the trash. Let's reach this quick. Think you can handle this? Looks like I'm up. What's the hold up? Let's go. Allow me. All right, I will beat you up. Finish him. No, I've got some levels. <laughs> On to the next level. Hey, I'm even stronger now. There we go. You Who got knew I added good... in me? Oh, rank. And you got Jawbreaker. All right, there's the weapon shop I wanted. All right, let's go to that and just remove it. Oh. We're good. All right, we'll check this one out first. Aloha. Aloha. Okay. No. Oh. All right, I can use a golf club. Thank you. Actually, I just remembered. Oh, maximum HP. Uh, here. Nunchucks. Also, who dare ping me on the Discord? Ah. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou. I'll just do a tire one. Here I come. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Allow me. That was worth it or not. No point overthinking. Why would I? This isn't Silent Hill 2. I don't have to reach my hand into the toilet. Why? Why did they let me do that? Oh, cool. I befriend the dog in Silent Hill. You're gonna pay for this. Let's do it! You can pay for this. 
Let's get it done. Okay. Oh, that. All right. Wait, I have an idea. Got you now. Doing better than I thought. We'll take a break. Mm -hmm. Aloha. Oh god, it's so expensive. Why? Thank you. Oh, it's through till 4 a.m. Where's Ichiban Confections when you need it? Alright. I'm a poor pleb. Such a poor, poor pleb. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna go to the store real quick. I need healing items. Aloha! Yeah, okay, we got some toughness Z, which is 50. Okay, burn ointments and all those sound better than these. <laughs> Anger management pipe. Thank you. Well, I was hoping there was a different type of item shop nearby, but whatever. Guys, I hope you're ready, because... I'm gonna save it because we're about to jump into it. Yay! I want to be there. What are you looking at? I'm on the oh, phone. Bring it on. Let's get it done. What? All right. Allow me. God damn it, I messed up. That's picking time. Looks like I'm up. Don't be taking your way to hell. I haven't been warmed up yet. Alright. You're a problem. No, no problem. Oh dear. I'll be fine. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Your problem. <laughs> hey, you are. Oh, are you accusing me of something? Okay, you asked for it. Let's get it done. What? Oh. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Here we go. I oh, actually give it a second. Let's go. Now. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, I didn't expect to do that, actually. Not gonna lie. Alright! Damn it. Get next to each other so I can kill both of you. Oh, oh, oh. yes! No. Alright, let's uh, get the suitcase and go on. Heroes Nunchaka. Nunchaku. Well, at least the crowd's friendly. Gonna guess you're Roman? And I'm gonna guess you're new in town. Welcome to Hawaii, pal. Seems you're quick to make friends. The taco guy told me all about you. Uh. Yeah, he said there's some real snaky people trying to join the Barracudas. <laughs> Good old Jeff. Always looking out for his fellow citizens. This guy's already pissing me off. Do all American cops love to hear themselves talk? Jeff, you dirty, stinking asshole. I'll tell you right now. We're not interested in joining a gang. All we want is to get into District 5 and get out. We heard you could make that happen. 
Oh, you did? Well, I do lead a regular patrol there, but come on. Do I look like the type to go around making backroom deals? And you? You're that John Doe who bolted out of the station. I don't think you're in any position to be asking me favors, especially concerning District 5. Yeah, curious. Tell talking. me something, Roman. You a family man? And why should you care? I just thought a bright, honest cop like yourself might have a family waiting at home. I envy that, you know? Well, I do have a bombshell of a wife. But my son, there's my pride and joy. Kid's turning 20 this year. How <laughs> time flies. Yeah, it's funny, he keeps asking me for a sports car. What he wants is 50 grand. Can you believe it? I mean, I'm just a glorified beat cop. You know how little they pay me? If only there was someone out there, some kind soul who could grant my son's <laughs> wish. <laughs> That's gonna take a while to grind. there's no one that generous. <laughs> Did he really just ask for 50 grand? <laughs> Maybe Jeff's not such an asshole after all. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? Feeling generous today? Way I see it, you boys don't have much of a choice. I have a hundred dollars. I'm sure you noticed, but me and my guys run the show here. One wrong move might land you a trip to the coroner's office. <laughs> Whatever happened to protect and serve, huh? <laughs> Roman, if all you're after is money, you'll have to try someone else. Now. I suggest you take us to District 5 before things get out of hand. <laughs> what did you just say? Also, we'll need his record cleared of any and all false charges. You're hardly the first cop I've seen point a gun. But the ones I know only do it to save a life, to uphold the values they believe in. Stay back. Maybe I have no right to say this, but seeing scum like you hold a badge, it makes me sick. I said stay back! <laughs> well, that was reckless. All I'm doing is talking, and yet you pop one off. Don't just stand there. Tomizawa, ready for action? Never been more ready. <laughs> Let's do no this. No need to go soft, boys. There's bar stools. I want to see these fuckers in a coma. Okay, that's good. He wants to see us in a coma, not dead. That's an improvement. Your face is me off. Roman Reynolds. Let's get it done. Give me a second. Do I have the money? Oh, oh, You're God, no, I don't. All right. Oh. Looks like I'm up. Oh, actually, got you now. Oh, Jesus, Here we man. Go. That is amazing. Nothing. That's picking time. 
Open wide. All right, here you. I got you. Let's run. There we go. Allow me. This is what you Let's get it done. For it. Damn it. Looks like I'm up. You're in it now. Here we go. Town justice is a Allow bit me. mean, not gonna lie. Oh no. Wait, what do I have here? Not too late to surrender. Let's go. Yeah. Something wrong. <laughs> Let's get it done. Damn it. Let's do it. Break yourself! Man, MVP. Learning more every day. Hey, I'm even stronger now. Oof. Oh, that move with the shotgun was rough. Why'd you do that? Uh, do what? You nearly got your head blown off just now! Oh! <laughs> True that. Close one, huh? <laughs> More than close, dumbass! How the hell can you just throw your life away? The hell? <sighs> no brainer, man. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. <sighs> oh, uh, which reminds me, how's the hair? Ah, oh, shit, don't tell me. Curious son I don't have a bald patch, do I? I think the bullet ripped a chunk out. Does it look bad? Mm, <laughs> can't say I see any difference. The tips are a bit burnt. But your hair looks like it's seen more bullets than one. That guy what? is so confused. Because it's standing up on end? Look, pal, I'll have you know this is a custom job. Okay, special order, top of the line cut. I paid money for They're this. on another level. And we're on their level. Come on, man. You got this. All right, for a second there, I was worried to cure you accidentally. You know. Not only are you a barracuda pawn, you've been using your position to frame people? I asked you a question. Yeah, that's right. And Tomizawa and Kasuga here are two of your latest victims? <sighs> yeah. What of it? Goddamn son of a bitch! Tomizawa. Save that anger for the Barracudas. You'd only be wasting it on him. Uh, fuck! Listen up. You're gonna wipe every last charge your boys gave me. Right now? I can't even take a step on this beautiful island without looking over my shoulder. And that pisses me off. All right. Fine. Thank you, officer. Don't forget. We also need access to District 5. You don't know what you're asking. It's not some asinine tourist trap. Believe me, we're not here to play around. We're looking for a girl who's in there. I'll level with you. I can get you in, simple enough. But if the Barracudas found out, there'd be hell to pay. <laughs> you saying they're a bigger threat than I am? Think about that carefully. Okay, okay, let's just... 
Be cool here, yeah? Meet me tomorrow in front of District 5. Be there at noon, on the dot. That's more like it. In Hawaii, public indecency's a thousand dollar fine, right? Here. Sorry I won't buy you a sports car. <sighs> Hear you, son. I don't have the words right now, man. Wait, you're holding out Finally, I can walk around free. Looks like you're off the hook for now. Maybe thank Tomizawa sometime. I think Tomizawa's done way more dirty than me. Holy cow, that guy. Hmm. Mm. Guess he can't take us right away. All right. It's late enough as it is. Let's head back to the hotel for the night. Now there's a night. There, there, there's an idea. I beat. Any side quests? Mm, yes, actually, there are two. The continuation of this one and whatever this one on the beach is. Now, question is, can I fast travel and there's an enemy near me? I can. All right, let's think about now. We're waiting for the next day, so I have some time to kill, technically. Let's do some side quests. In RPGs, I like doing side quests, as long as they're good. Bad side quests, I can give you a real good example of Final Fantasy XV. Trash game, trash side quests, trash everything. Good side quests are like Yakuza games where- oh, wait. Hello. Are like Yakuza games where literally they flesh it out real good like. Alright. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, hey, Kyle's got something. <clears throat> okay. Sup, Sawai? You make it to the hotel all right? Yes, I did. That girl led me all the way here. All the way there, sorry. Truth be told, I've been wanting to thank you. What for? I didn't really do anything. No. I beg to differ. You were kind enough to ask for help in my stead, even though we had just met. You gave me hope. And without your intervention, I wouldn't have met the girl of my dreams. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Hmm? Uh-huh. Anyways, please allow me to thank you with a meal. I saw this nice looking restaurant while I was looking for my hotel. So how about it? You sure do? Well, if you insist. You ready to go eat, kazuka -san? Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Come on, let's get going. This way. Over here, kazuka -san. Hey, careful you don't trip at that speed. <laughs> I'm not some little kid. Ah, woo! I, I, I'm sorry, sir. Hey, buddy. You speak Japanese? I saw you earlier, you know. You were crossing the road without using the crosswalk, weren't you? Jaywalking's illegal in these parts. See? Why I ought to find you? Huh? Huh? Is it? Really? I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know that. Ooh. Well, since you didn't do it on purpose, and you're beating yourself over it, I'll let you off the hook this time. In exchange, how about donating some money to the police department? Holy cow! All the police are too. really crooked. Oh! Oh! It's an actually donation box! <laughs> I just have to make a donation? Alright, sure. Hold on a sec, Swai. Did you actually jaywalk earlier? Mm. Mm, honestly, I don't even remember. I, was look I wasn't looking at my feet. It's fine, though. The officer said he'll let me up with the donation. Better we get to the restaurant, then get in trouble. You know what? A little shady. Well then, you be more careful next time. <sighs> but a donation instead of a fine. Is that normal in Hawaii? 
Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. I guess Hawaii is way stricter on traffic laws than Japan. I better watch my step. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you visiting from Japan? That's nice. Here's a t-shirt. Huh? Um, for me? Who else, dearie? Now that'd be 50 bucks. Oh, dear. Let me guess. No. It's not coming. Uh, I uh, don't really need a shirt, though. All right, I can immediately see by the time we get to the restaurant, I have no money. Well, this isn't in the old shirt. All profits go towards the poor in third world countries. Since you already took it, won't you cooperate? These funds may even save lives, you know. Do you follow, dearie? Hey, doesn't that seem kind of fishy? <laughs> oh, you're doing charity work. I understand completely. Sure, I'll donate to your cause. Oh, he's too kind. He's too kind of a soul. Thank you kindly. See you around. Go. Dude, are you sure about that? Seemed a little sketch to me. I mean, she's pretty much forced that thing on you. You think so? Maybe they're just more pushy people outside Japan. Um... Huh? A, a, a parrot? Oh my! I see you quite like that man's shoulder, eh, Perry? Very like! Very like! Perry want a picture! What? What the hell? That's one big parrot! Aloha, brother! From another mother country? Why, just look how sweet my cute little Perry is! Fate must have brought us together! How about a picture? Picture? Yes. Picture? Yes. Um, sure, I guess. Very hungry. Food. Food. Oh, dear. Did you get hungry after working yourself into a tizzy? Excuse me, brother. I know it's not a real fair trade for a picture, but you mind spotting me? All to feed my darling Perry here. Does everyone have a box in Hawaii? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Huh? Uh, really? That's expensive. Hey, come on. It's not his fault the bird landed on him. You're going too far, man. No, no, it's fine. Think of it as a commemorative gift. Here you are. Dude, you're not going to have any money by the end of this. Yo, stand up, fella. You know that? Really appreciate it, man. Have a nice trip. Have a nice trip. Yo. Hey, I don't know if the last one was just legit. I can't tell you how to spend your money, but shouldn't you be more careful? Well, maybe it was hungry. Besides, it's not part of the Hawaiian experience. Come on, we're almost there. Are we ever... Yeah, you have no money. <sighs> Is this guy going to be okay? Yeah, you're gonna have no money on you. Here we are. A lot happened before we got here. But let's just get in. Ohio, 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 Ohio Burger. Ohio Burger. Gullible Japanese tourists. Gullible Japanese tourists. <laughs> and they usually load it too. This, may, this is mad fun. Okay, go lay out that old man next. Yep. They're all crooked. Man, that was tasty. I feel bad for letting you foot the bill, though. Oh, please don't. You saved my life, Kazuga-san. When I was too scared to reach out for help, you stepped in and brightened my whole day. I was so anxious, being in a different country all alone. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have met my special someone. Yeah, if I ever went outside the U.S., I'd be completely lost also. Don't hmm? worry, man. A special someone, you say? Yeah, someone so special. They're about to change my entire life. Wait a minute. 
The parrot guy. Clearly has feelings for the parrot guy. The lay girl. Yes. That's right. I'm surprised you figured it out. Well, honestly, nobody else fit the bill. I think I might have fallen for her at first sight. Ever since that moment we met, she's got me all flustered. Man, I wish I could see her again. She gave me a free lie, took me to the hotel, and kindness her heart. She was really a sweet girl. Dude, I think that's only because you don't need a ton of money. But yeah, she was pretty cute. To tell you the truth, I quit my job recently. The reason I'm here in Hawaii is to get away from it all. Uh huh? That's so? Yes! Yeah. I was an ordinary businessman. I spent my days doing the best I could. Even going door to door, pitching sales, just to fill my quota. But one day, I was assigned to a rather difficult customer. I said the wrong thing, and they ended up complaining about me. It might have been a minor issue, but that mistake of mine cost us a major deal at the end of the day. Oh, man. And because of that, my work relationships became strained. Even my own boss verbally abused me every single day. Since then, I've been too afraid to speak with other people. I guess that's why he couldn't ask for directions, even though he had no idea where his hotel was. Eventually, they kicked me from the sales department. My only job was to keep an eye on the shredder. Since then, since nobody needed me there anymore, I up and left the company. I was just so tired. So I came to Hawaii for a fresh start. But my past mistakes still haunt me to this day, which makes it difficult to ask people for help, even when I really need it. That's why I was so happy when I first spoke, if you first spoke with me, Kazuka-san. And that girl was cutting me too. For a moment, I felt needed, even if only for a donation. <laughs> it felt like my chilled heart was slowly beginning to being warmed by a tiny bit of sunlight. Now, I'm not afraid to talk to strangers. Not anymore. I can finally move up, uh, move forward without turning tail or running away. And you're the one who gave me this opportunity to change myself. I really do mean it when I say you saved my life, Kalikasan. <laughs> you're giving me way too much credit, man. But hey, it's great you're thinking more positively now. Glad I talked to you earlier then. I want to thank that girl properly, too. Honestly, I wish I could chat with her again. Okay. Well, now you're looking more optimistic. Maybe you will. I hope you see her again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe so. I wonder what she's doing now. Oh. I'll be heading back to hotel now. I hope we get to meet again. Okay. Yeah, see you around. Thanks for the meal, man. I wonder if I'll see her again if I visit. I wonder if I'll see her if I visit again. You know what? I'm seeing this one through. This one's really good. Give me my coconuts. They're really nice. Oh, pineapples. Alright. Natural herb. Iron chong. She's there! They're talking! Yes! Oh no, he's... Oh, hey, isn't that Swai? Guess he met that girl again. Oh, he's even wearing the shirt. <laughs> that guy's throwing so much money at her again. You'd think that he knows something was off by now. Oh, him again? This seemed pretty often. The other day he was here buying a CD, a flag, postcards, you name it. Fool is getting suckered every way imaginable. Maybe these tourists aren't, uh, 
aren't all that quick on the uptake since Japan's so damn peaceful. Seriously, how many times has he been scammed by that girl? Oh. What's up? Hey, sorry about that. I got asked. That girl would lay. She's actually been scamming folks. <gasps> oh. Oh yeah, definitely. She'll tell you, welcome to Hawaii, then put a lay over you, even if you didn't want one. The moment you take it, she'll ask for you to for, ask for you to donate. It's a popular scheme around these parts. So, what's the story? <laughs> Does she get you too? Yeah, something like that. She asked for a donation to support her hula dance group. <laughs> That's classic. Truth is, she goes walking around from dawn to dusk looking for Japanese folks with pockets full of money. She's never hula danced a day in her life. It's only ever the guys dancing to her tune. I know I shouldn't laugh, but honestly, that sh this shit's hilarious. Oh man, the poor guy. That right. That guy is something else. See that t-shirt he's wearing? Guy from one sly old lady. He's practically screams. Japanese tourist, easy mark. Might as well walk around with a target on his back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you've already forked over your money, just think of it as paying to get schooled and one hard lesson to learn. Just steer clear of picture talking parrots, alright? Yeah, hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So why? All right, time for a very, very, very hot. Guys, you don't have to throw a table. Come on. All right, time for a harsh conversation. Okay. Hey, so why? I see you got to meet the girl with the lay again. Oh, Kazuka-san. Yes, indeed. I ran to her again when I was hanging out here. She has such a cute name, too. Kiani. Kiana. She told me after I donated a few times. Mm. Donations. Right. Uh, about that. So I actually fell head over heels for her. But she's probably thinking he's at least Mark. Would it be best to tell him the truth? But it seems too cruel to do that to someone who's happy. Is everything alright? Be truthful. Hey. Well, about those donations Kiani is asking for. I heard some locals saying that she's running a scam. I mean, I don't know for sure, but... Um... <laughs> you really are a nice guy, Kazuki-san. The thing is, I'm already well aware of that. Hmm? Oh. Of course I noticed that she wasn't a student. And that she was lying about the donations. But why are you still giving her money? <laughs> because I want to see her. I only get to spend time with Kiana. When I come visit for another one of her lay, I don't care if I'm just another easy mark for her. Is that why you keep wearing that shirt too? Yes. Right. I figured that this way she'd recognize me. I look like another wide-eyed Japanese tourist, don't I? Oh, he knows. Well, that's good at least. <sighs> so you're handing out money left and right on purpose? Well. She might have been lying about her calls, but I didn't mind giving her money if it made her happy. I'm sure there's a reason she's doing all this. Maybe she's trying to look after her family. Who knows? So my donations aren't meant to support her hula dance group, but to support her. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, but I really am doing just fine. Until next time. Well, if he's okay with it, then... I guess it's fine. Ooh. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna walk away. Come I'm on back. Good. Come, gentlemen. We must walk down the beach together. Nope. 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 Where's the blue? I need to finish this side quest. Where's the blue? Poseidon Supreme. Aha! Uh -huh. You know, it would have been faster if I used my. Segway.
Isn't that the girl Swai likes? Kiana? Right. Is she out here scamming more folk into donating? Oh crap, it's raining. Oh, Kiana, there you are. Hmm? Hmm? I thought you'd be around here again, but I got worried since it started pouring. Mr. Swai. Please take this, if you like. I was using it earlier. Are you sure? But then you'll be soaking wet, Mr. Swai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm just worked up a good sweat. Figured a little rain shower would do wonders. <laughs> Oh, are you taking donations again? I'm sorry, don't have a lot on me right now. I don't need it. Huh? Was that? No. Uh, I meant to say I don't need any more donations today. I met some generous donors today. So this um umbrella is plain, Mr. Sly. Thank you so much. Oh, really? Okay then. I'll come back another time. <laughs> Try not to catch a cold. Alright, I'll see you around. Oh, she's growing a heart. You're unbelievable. And just like that, the rain stops. We gotta move! We gotta move! Drinks later! Actually... Oh, aloha. Aloha. Let's... Oh. All right. Go. Yeah, that was Stop. great. Man, how high do their links go? Thanks very much. I'm curious. <gasps> it's you! Chitose. Hello, Kazuka-san. Well, let's chat. Hawaii's natural sights are simply breathtaking. I do also appreciate nature, Mr. Kazuga. Yeah, I do actually. There are a lot of animals around. Palm trees here make you feel tiny whenever you're looking up to them. Gas or a powerful vibe to them. I'm glad to hear it. Personally, I'm more partial to the flowers. The sight of a beautiful aloha cheers me right up. The red ones in particular. Oh, aloha is, is Hawaiian. For hibiscus. Wow. Oh, yeah. Learn something new every day. I think just hosting something. We really like some hib uh, hibiscus bouquet. I just got one. Should I get to her? Yeah, give it to her. So, Why not? I got this for you, Chitosi song. Yeah. yeah. A bouquet of my favorite hibiscus. Oh, how romantic. Thank you very much. I'm starting to perk up. Time to channel this energy and beat up some punks. Glad she's happy with the gift. Feels like my bond with Ch Chitose song grew stronger. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh, no blue! I'm really far away and there's no blue! Wait... What's down here? Blue? Blue. A brewery? Good coconut. Aloha! Aloha! Uh, fruit juice? Oh, buy 10 fruit juice. It's an MP. Oh, yeah, just. Yeah, buy all of these. They're great for MP, and if I'm stuck in a dungeon, it'd be great. Hi. Arigato! Alright, so if you're wondering why I bought... Oh, I don't have any more dog food. Sorry, Poochie. But yeah, I bought all of that because in Dungeons... Because I know... I, yeah, I, if there's something I remember correctly, and I think I mentioned this earlier, Dungeons in this game are random. They change. And so... If I start grinding dungeons later, I'm gonna want MP items. That's why I bought those. 
Even though usually I don't have a big problem with MP because I level up. Uh oh. Let's see. <laughs> Did you make it out of the rain? All right last time, Kiana. Kiana? The storm here storms here are so more so much more intense than Japan's. They seriously caught seriously caught me off guard. <laughs> uh. Oh right. Are you taking donations still? Here, let me help. Um, Swai is trying to give her even more money. Um, do you think you could maybe stop coming here? Huh? Huh? Sorry, I didn't catch that. What were you saying? It kills me every time I take someone's money. Every time I take your money. Please, just don't go looking for me anymore. I'm so sorry. Kiana, something wrong? Please, wait. Well, that was weird. I should go see if everything's alright. She grew a heart. Yep. Alright, we're gonna fight on the way there, but first, I saw a link. Hey, buddy. Aloha. Aloha. Oh, wow, I love cheesy pizza. How dare you put this abomination in your shop? You are a monster. Thank you. Monster. Pineapple doesn't belong on the pizza. Aloha. Aloha. Coconut chicken curry. Spinach curry. Classic. Interesting. I'm not gonna buy more food. I think I'm good right now. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Found ya. Hey, we're not so let's do it. Now, are you? Oh no. <sighs> let's get it done. Oh, God. What have I done? I didn't think it was a boss. Break yourself. Whoops, slammed that too early. Here I come. I accidentally aimed that I, want I am that. not doing good right now. You know, I've yet to use these. It's over. Oh, that's actually a really good attack. You're in it now. Something wrong. Yeah. Oh, come on. Bring it. Okay. Oh, God. That's picking time. Um, you know what? I'm gonna heal. Open one. No dying alone. Hot shots. Ready as I'll ever be. Come on. Got you now. Hey. Follow my lead. Samba de Rada? Let's get it done. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. Come on. Here you can walk just a bit more. Something wrong? No, I just want you to move a little. Oh, fine. Damn. Gum shot? I won't hold back. Here I come! Armed and ready! Here they come! 
Allow me. To... Um, yeah, something's wrong. I'm not feeling too comfortable about this. I could use 200 bucks. I'm a shy pounder, by the way, guys. I... I'm going to heal. Let's rock! Yeah, I'm happy I did now. Oh, I'm very happy I did. There's no way. Got you now. Oh, oh no. Time to put you down. That's picking time. I'm scared. 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 Eat some French fries. Much better. Oh, we'll see, so I guess. Here I come. Armed and ready. Here's a go. Goodbye, Kiryu. Ooh, mega swing. Okay, that was difficult. Is there a diner nearby? There is down there. Oh, okay. Well, I might as well see what I just got. Dog food. Well, we could be more efficient. Yeah, we could be. I guess... Yeah... You know what? Let's get going! Alright, let's go. We're gonna eat real quick, and then I'm gonna finish the side quest. Oh, wait. Oh, hello. You want Aloha? Hey. There we go. Feed me, please feed me. Aloha. Okay. Uh, we want to do a. It looks like it's this burger, this, and this. The American staple. What? There we go. Yeah, that was great. Oh man, everyone leveled up again. Thanks very much. Hey, buddy. Have you heard, pal? I haven't. Hamburgers are good for your health. <laughs> um, you know what? No. <laughs> I guess it also depends on how you cook them. All right, I'm not mad. But I hate to say it, man, you eat too much. That is something I am stopping, and that's why I go to the gym. I don't want to be that. I d yeah. Oh, Hello. Aloha. Oh, I scared him. Aloha. Hey, Christopher. What are you looking at? Uh, you apparently. I'll bury you. The battle is on. That's chicken time. Oh, come on. I won't hold that. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Who <laughs> 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 knew I had it in me? Hey, man, you're getting there. I can do this. Uh oh. Well, I'm curious. Let's see what this does. This ain't a show, dipshit. You'll be shipped home in a month. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Open one. 
Damn, too late. <laughs> let's go, let's go. You're in it now. <laughs> uh, see you in hell. I haven't warmed up yet. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Hello? Hmm? Yep, they're up there. Okay, make sure. Sick as damn money. The Japanese are easy picking to know. You better squeeze every penny out of them. I don't want to be any part of this anymore. I want to quit. Do you even hear yourself? How are you plan to pay back the rest of your debt then? Just do as we say, and you'll make your money back. And we'll get out there and scam those dumb tourists. Got it? So shut your trap and go bat your eyes at that loser. No. Forget it. I don't want to keep lying to him anymore. You'll get just a, a say in this bitch. Stop. M Mr. Sawai. You stop right there. Don't hurt her. And who the hell are you? Hold up, this is the sucker we've been stringing along. Who would have thought he'd come straight to us? What? Don't tell me you're here to stop, to uh, support a cause. You want an enthusiastic donor? I'll give you that. You better step away from Miss Kiana. She means the world to me. Or else what? Then, then you'll have to go through me. Ha! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yep, <laughs> saw it coming. Miss Sly. Should have just kept ogling her and paying up. This girl still got a lot of use out of her. Oh, this girl still got a lot of use out of her pretty face. Ain't no way she's getting off for free. We gonna suck her dry. Huh? Get away from her. I won't let you do that. Come on. Fuck him up real good. <laughs> Think you're tough shit, don't ya? Maybe we ought to kill him. Knock it off. I'll do whatever you say, so please, just stop. Kiana. <laughs> Glad you're catching on. Come on. We're through with this chump. Just nab his money and toss him. You got it, boss. Damn it. Damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, we arrived late. Hey, pull yourself together, man. Kazuka son. I'm still frustrated myself by well, You were great, man. Hold on! I'm taking a sip of my coffee real quick. You guys can stand there. Uh. <clears throat> hey, hold up. Oh, what now? How about you step away from the girl? Huh? What the? Why the hell should we? You got nothing to do with her. Well, you see, that girl gave me a flower before. I didn't get a chance to thank her yet. Oh, and by the way, what? The guy you socked earlier? He's a good friend of mine. 
so no way in hell am I going to be the bigger person and let that plunge slot. Plunge, holy cow. Let me redo that. So no way in hell am I going to let a bigger person. Uh, you know what? Yep. <laughs> you done spewing bullshit yet? If you care about your little friend so much, then we'll have to bury the both of you together. I'll sue you. All right, let's go. Uh, That's kicking time. Oh, I can't do that. Um, actually, let's do heroes with them. Let's go. Let's go. I know, I know, man. You are excited. I keep aiming it wrong. Why did I do that? That's on me. I'm an idiot. I won't hold that. There we go. Holy cow. Two for one. Oh, guillotine drop. Oh. You missed. Let's get it done. Ready as I'll ever be. Follow my lead. Still getting used to the timing. Oh, 110 dollars. 15. Nice. I think voice acting should happen now. If this is the end of the side quest. The hell is wrong with this guy? That is not the voice I gave. He's Holy way too strong. cow! So you're the ones behind the donation scams? Just let her go already. Hasn't she made enough money for you assholes? Huh? If I catch you guys duping people again, I'm gonna beat this lesson into your heads until it sticks. Got it? G got it! We won't ever run another scam again, ever! You okay, Kiana? Yeah. Thank you for saving me. If you're gonna thank someone, thank him. He's the one who put his neck on the line trying to save you. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Sawai. I never imagined you'd get roughed up for my sake. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe, Kiana. And I'm so sorry for lying to you this whole time. The donation thing was a ruse. Huh? When I was younger, my parents up and disappeared one day, leaving me with all their debt. I was at a complete loss until those people showed up. They told me there was a way to help people and make money at the same time. So I jumped at the opportunity. But I was an idiot. The whole job was a scam and I was just fooling tourists into donating. <laughs> By then, it was too late to back out. I spent day after day asking for fake donations, and my earnings were only enough to pay back the interest. <laughs> At first, it pricked my conscience, yeah, but eventually, I became numb to the guilt. It felt like nothing could spark joy in my life anymore. Because of them, I tricked so many people, including you. Hmm. But of all those people, one of them showed someone as awful as me. Kindness. Every time that person came to visit me, he only had nice things to say. He even gave me an umbrella one rainy day, leaving him running around soaking wet. I'm talking about you, Mr. Sawai. Kiana. I'm a horrible person, and I honestly don't deserve your sympathy. But it's been such a long time since anyone's treated me that way. You made me really happy. And yet, at the same time, it, it killed me. It did? 
I couldn't bear the fact that I was cheating such a kind soul, but I kept at it anyway. Even though you knew I've been lying this whole time, you were always smiling at me. And every single one of your smiles gutted me like a knife. I wanted to smile back at you, but I, I, I couldn't bring myself to. The guilt was too much. It felt like it was crushing me. I just didn't want to hurt you or hurt myself anymore. So I ran. But in the end, you wound up in danger all because of me. I am so sorry. Oh. Please don't cry, Kiana. It pains me to see your tears. Besides, you haven't hurt me at all. Truth be told, I'm actually grateful for what you've done. Wow, except the big muscular huh? man who kicked him What do you him mean? Gone. I've done such awful things, both to you and other people. Maybe you were only kind to me so that you could scam me, but you showed me kindness nonetheless. My old workplace back in Japan wasn't the greatest. I was mocked and ridiculed. Nobody had anything nice to say. Every single day, I couldn't help but think that there was no reason for someone as useless as me to live. I just couldn't take it anymore, so I ran away to Hawaii. But then, you and Kasuga-san came into my life. You helped me when I was having trouble finding my hotel. There are kind people out in this world. Sure, it didn't seem like much, but neither of you probably even realized that you saved me then. So why? Scamming people was wrong, of course, but even then, I was happy you were so nice to me. So thank you, Kiana. Please don't be too hard on yourself. I only hope to see that lovely smile of yours again. Mr. Sawai. <sighs> Let's jump to a first name basis here. Thank you for everything, Kasuga-san. Truly. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. So, what are you two gonna do now? I can take a I've guess. been thinking. And maybe it's best I atone for my crimes. I want to be able to face Mr. Sawai, guilt-free, with my head held high. I get that. And once I'm in the clear, I'll work hard to pay off all my debt so I can live a better life. <laughs> you mean the two of us will, right? <laughs> right. Oh, come on. The honeymoon phase already? Give me a break. I'm sorry about that, but I am serious about Kiana. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I want to work with her, help her pay off the debt. As long as we're together, it doesn't matter how simple our lives will be. I just want to stay at her side. Sure, we might be moving really fast, but I mean every word. Is that so strange? Nah, I think you're fine. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your love life. Heck, I'll be rooting for you too. I can't believe you looked like death when we first met. You're so full of life right now, man. But you finally found a reason to live. And Kiana's not the only one with a beautiful smile. Yours is pretty great too. First in smiles, Ichiban Confections. <laughs> Ever heard of that little slogan? Uh, uh, nope. Can't say that I have. Well, anyway, you've been a big help, Kasuga-san. Ah, each of my confections. Call back. <laughs> Happy lay. A flower ornament said to bring good luck when worn around the... Uh, I really can't thank you enough. Do take care. Thanks. You too. Good luck, man. Hmm? Oh, dear. This is quite the conundrum. Is something the matter, ma'am? Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, why, thank you. I need a donation. I've been looking for this hotel, actually. I believe it's called Beachside. Do you mean Seaside Hotel, by chance? That place is very special to us. We could take you there ourselves. Oh, right. That's the place. Thank you very much. What a sweet couple you are. Real nice folk, those two. Sure, they came from different corners of the world, but 
both wanted the same thing. Guess a little kindness goes a long way. I hope you guys keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Death stream. Saved by kindness. Oh, complete ten sub stories. Nice. Oh dear, you stuck me in the slums. I'm, oh, oh, I'm in a bad place. Ooh, item. Hey guys, just ignoring me. I'm gonna walk All through. Right, come with me. Somebody. Hmm. It's a stinky towel. A bad fortune. popular in Japan too, but for some reason Poke is not big over there. Don't they know how delicious it is? Wake up, Japan, it's Poke time. I might be an Aloha. $77. Let's oh. dig. Oh, magic boosters. Nice. Yeah. That was yeah. great. Thank you. Well, I won't be doing this for much longer, so let's go to the beach and do that side quest. Uh, best place to teleport? Probably here. Then we'll continue tomorrow. Also, I don't know how long this side quest is going to be. Come on, let's dance. Okay, you asked for it. That's kicking time. No, <laughs> lubricants. That guy looks like Eddie from uh, Tekken. Follow my lead. My favorite character to play as is Tekken. If I play on PSP. I can kick butt with an enemy. A cafe. Now that could be real nice. Owning a chill little spot by the ocean, whipping up coffee for my regulars, just catching up, hanging out. <sighs> what a serene way to go about life. You're a bit of a people person, Ichiban, so you are perfect for front of house. What? You're counting me as one of your staff already? Oh, you bet. So start networking. Bring in those regulars and get me some discounted supplies. Here we go again. Tell me the hustler. Might as well get to work. We're really opening up. He wants to own his own coffee shop. No, oh, that's actually nice. Man, look at that man. Adore his muscles. Why am I grabbing that? Just why? Excuse me, you. Wait. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Yep. It's about that trash you have. Did you find it in the ocean? Um, oh, yeah. I guess I did. Figured I'd go throw it away instead of leaving it. Yeah, problem? No. That's fantastic. You're great. Really awesome. Well done, Afro. Sorry, what's going on here? I'm just saying, throwing away trash is trash, and trash cans is great. But there's even more wonderful spot to bring away you find. Oh. Uh huh. And what's that? Me. Come again? My name is Yoko Umino. I'm research. I'm researching environmental issues to keep me to keep the ocean clean. I'm from Japan originally, but I came to Hawaii on a study abroad. Okay, nice to meet you. 
I meet you, Bon Cusica. Uh, it's Admiral Ward you're doing there. But what does that have to do with me pick up trash? Are you just trying to clean up the ocean piece by piece? Not exactly. See, I'm trying to solve this issue with a different approach. I'm working with several different manufacturers to recycle any trash that washes up here and turn into something nice. And for that, I need tons of trash to use as supplies. Thing is, the other day I slipped on inc inconceivably placed sea cu cucumber and twisted my leg. I can't do much trash recovery now. <sighs> I get it. So you want me to give you the stuff I pick up? Now, that's a smart trash cookie. Of course I won't ask you to give me anything for free, although I haven't got much money. It's trash if you find and give it to you for free. Ideally, I'd like to implement some kind of point system to encourage more people to have fun picking everything in this everything has a point system. So please, can I persuade you to hand me that trash? Supplying me, uh, yeah. sure. Well, what do you mean, point system? I could award you points for trash, and you could exchange them for items I recycle from trash. How about that, huh? It's like a beautiful circle of trash. I got plenty of sweet stuff, so that's not a bad deal for you, right? My research prog progress progresses, the ocean gets cleaner, and you receive prizes. It's a win 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 system. <laughs> win win win, huh? Hey, you're pretty sharp. Got it. All right, take this and I'll come again if I find anything else. We'll keep the beach clean together. Hooray. May this wonderfully trashy venture for us both, Afro. All right, reduce and reuse. Bringing any trash you picked up on Aloha Beach over to Yoko Umi Yumino, you can exchange them for recycle points depending on their type. Recycle points can be exchanged for items. Point values, cans are 10, bottles 30, magazine 50, bottles are 100. Okay. Man, it makes it almost reminds me of Parasite E. Bring me 100 cash. Oh, let's see. Okay. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Do you have items? I just can't get over how beautiful the ocean is here. Better make the most of it and go for a dip sometime. Why? Come on, I'll die. Bring it on. Why do you have a problem with me? I'm just trying to enjoy the beach. Ready I'll ever be. Uh, I won't hold back. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's that's no Learning fire. more every day. Essence of dagger. Interesting. Hello? What are you looking at? I'm gonna do it. Your face is the fell on. I regret Come doing on, it. Holy cow. Take this. Come on. Yeah. Ah, you're in it, man. Let's get it done. Something no, wrong. Not happening. Do your work. Are you getting scared? You won't like this! Check this out! <laughs> Come well, I on the beach? Was there a level 20? Damn it! The money's gone! If this shit's gonna happen, we should be making more deposits at the ATM. Well, all I can do for now is get back on my feet and grab some grub. Why is the beach so dangerous? I just want to do that side quest. Cooper. No, not me. 
Alright, we're finally here. Alright. Time to finally enjoy this trip. I said leave me alone. <laughs> Come on, babe. Come on, baby. Stop it! Don't touch me! Hey, easy, easy. Don't you want to have some fun? I got a sweet we can share, you know? It's a nice place. Quiet bar without all the tourists. You'll love it, girl. Good for you, but I'm not interested. Let go of me! Ugh, so much for rest and relaxation. Hey, she's not interested. How about you show some respect and go? The hell? What are you, some hero complex white knight? Yes. We were just having a nice little conversation. No cock blockers allowed. New no kid. Didn't seem very nice to me. Wow, bro. It doesn't take a hero to tell you two are scum. Now one more time, let her go. I'm getting pissed off looking at you. Yeah? What you plan on doing about it? Screw it. The girl can wait. Let's rough this brick up first. Well, Whoa. at least they don't want to kill me. They just want to rough me up, not kill me. That's I'll enough. You. Bring it on. I'll sue you. Let's get it. Oh, going. I got dressed for the battle. Cool. Want some? Uh. Don't look down now. Uh. All right. I wonder. No, I doubt it. Got you now. Here we go. Screwed up. Looks like I'm up. Allow me. Goodbye. Hey, I'm even stronger now. I'm even stronger now. I'm so sorry. Um, thank you for your help. Ugh, shitty situation, huh? Guess there are guys like that everywhere. Take care. Honor, tattoos. Yakuza! Oh no! Falling Sakura pedals! Whoa! Hey, who are all you people? Onisan! You're the real thing! The modern Japanese samurai! A Japanese samurai? Uh, hey, I'm from Japan, I guess, but I I'm no samurai or anything. Proud tattoo on your back! The virtuous heart, which defends the weak! Surely a man like you embodies the noble samurai spirit. May I ask your name? It's, uh, Yuchiban Kasuga. What about you? Oh, how dishonorable of me. I apologize. I'm Nathan, a director at one of our local Hawaiian TV stations. <clears throat> samurai, may we walk together? Oh, now I get it. This is a TV crew. You guys shooting on location or something? Yes, we seek out Japanese tourists for interviews and travelogues. Just Japanese tourists? Yes, I love Japanese culture. You see, manga, anime, kabuki, it's the best. That's why I created this show, to talk to real Japanese people. I guess you're like a Japanese otaku, kinda? Yes, and I'll tell you what I'm most interested in, filmmakers. Kurosawa, Tsuburaya, Ozu, the most unique visionary directors of their time. I love their work. It seems like you know your stuff. I used to go to this movie theater that showed old classics myself. How oh, Tsuburashi! I would love to visit that theater one day. You know, Eagle Japan, Cinema. They say, even a chance meeting can create an everlasting bond. Please, Kasuka-san, let me interview you. Imagine the impact it will have on my show to feature such a proud Japanese man as you. Of course, we'll pay you for your time. Please, will you say you'll do it? Feels kind of weird to take part in a show specifically about Japanese people. But if he's willing to pay... All right. You sure seem to be passionate about this. I can spare the time. <laughs> Arigato! Now, 
Let's get started while I explain. Please, follow me. Um, okay. You honor me, sir. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you again for agreeing to this, Kazakhstan. So, to fill you in all the details, our show is called Samurai. May we walk with together? We interview Japanese tourists on vacation and accompany them as they experience Hawaii. Wow. Huh. Japan has a show like that too, you know. Fallen out travelers, they're pretty popular. Exactly! Unfortunately, even though our show was a hit at first, we've been losing viewers. Frankly, the content has gotten a bit stale. <sighs> I guess that makes sense, it's a concept that only goes so far. However, that was before today, when I behold the noble heart of a gallant samurai. If we could document a modern day man of honor like you as he experiences Hawaii, we may have our greatest episode yet. What do you have in mind? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we'll prepare a variety of fun times for you. All we want, Kazuga-san, is for you to enjoy yourself and show us your Japanese spirit. My Japanese spirit? Huh. If you can do that, we can arrange a pretty, uh, a handsome payday for you. Not a bad, not a bad deal, I guess. <laughs> Welcome aboard, then. If you're ready, we can start the first segment right now. What do you say? It might take a bit to film, though. Okay. Sure thing. All right, I'll give this a try. Great. Our first shot will take place at a food truck. Let's feast. No warrior can fight in an empty stomach. We've got lots of delicious Hawaiian food for you here, Kazuka-san. Got a minute? I'm pretty hungry. You just want me to yeah. eat? The catch is, you only get to try one dish. You like to see what, see you make your choice. Show us the struggle of a samurai. Okay, sounds simple enough. Now here's what we pre prepare for you today. A perfectly grilled mahi-mahi. Oh. Oh, that smells incredible. The supreme delicacy of Hawaii, the kalu pig. Wow. That looks great, too. Damn, mouth's watering. And finally, oh, man. Cold rice and Japanese barn millet. Millet. Now then, Kazuka-san, we ask you to select one dish and tell us in your own words how it tastes. And action. They want me to go with the Japanese millet, don't they? I don't get it. Who would take the millet and cold rice over the other foods? Which just dish should I choose? Yin! I got a feeling they want me to choose that. Just a feeling. Give me a second before that goes off. There we go. You know what? We're gonna go for it. Those Hawaiian ones look good, but this show's really focused on Japan. I guess we need to pick this crappy rice. <laughs> it's pretty underwhelming having to eat barn millet while I can still smell that fish and pork. Then again, it's not all, not at all that bad. It's got good texture to it, and it sure feels healthy. In fact, it's kind of nostalgic, like comfort food. Mmm, <laughs> this is nice. Oh crap, I finished the whole meal without seeing anything. I guess I'm sorry guys, I should have... Oh. Sweet, that rule! Japanese food number one! <laughs> yeah! Cold rice warms the bones, baby. Wow, they're this happy. Uh, thank you all. Yeah, perfect. How's it going, son? That was fantastic. Really? 
You ate Japanese soul food quietly and cont uh, contemplatively. Contemplatively. Like a real samurai lord. It was so cool. Let's hope every shot turns out this well. Mm. I never thought I wanted to be so glad to eat me. Eat, uh, see me eat rice in silence. It feels like they got a pretty narrow view of Japanese culture, but I get what they're looking for. Now that you eat, let's move to the next location, cousin. Okay. Alright, what's next? A stylish Hawaiian bar. What waits there, I wonder? <laughs> uh, let me guess. Sake. Uh, let's find <laughs> out. It's not far from here, actually. Why don't we take a stroll? Let me guess. A battle's gonna happen that you staged for me. So, what got you interested in Japan originally, Nathan? Uh, have you taken a lot of trips there? Um, no. Me? No. Oh no, I've never been. Oh, huh? I'm surprised. Never left America. In fact, Hawaii is the furthest I ever traveled. Actually, growing up, I was the kid who hated leaving his home. Hmm? Why? What was that? Why was that? I guess it started by getting bullied in school. I spent so t much time inside that, slowly, outside, just looking further and further away. I dropped out of school and hid in my room, watching the TV all day. My parents didn't know what to do. Then, late one night, I happened to catch this samurai movie on the air. I never saw anything like it before. These people, who lived in a world of honor and loyalty, it was amazing. They fought for their convictions, they put their lives in the line for others. It was so beautiful, it made me cry. I wanted to live like that too. From then on, I knew I couldn't stay hidden away anymore. Suddenly, it felt like I had the courage to open the front door again. School became my domain, where I could uphold justice and protect the weak. I even stood up to those bullies. They beat my ass silly, of course, but still. <laughs> Good for you. Things got better, eventually. I met other people with the same kind of interests in Japan, and we became friends. Japanese cinema gave me another chance at life. That's why I'm so grateful for it. I like to become someone who makes those kind of movies. One that inspire people who are struggling. I even went to film school to become a director like the, the great Kurosawa. Kurosawa. Wow. Wow. I'm really impressed. Seems like you've got everything you need. Is the whole crew in the Japan too? Yes. There are a bunch of us otaku at the station, so we banded together to make this series. Gotcha. That explains why everyone's so fired up. And why everyone's in awe of you, kazuka We can't wait to show our viewers real live samurai. <sighs> Look, that's flattering, but honestly, I'm no... Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Is... it a squall? Maybe we should find shelter for a minute. No worries, Kazakhstan. Mm hmm? Here. Pick whichever suits your fans. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, an umbrella or a fakumisa? A fukumagisa. Go on. I know which one you want me to pick, man. <laughs> Let's see. The hat. Alright, give me the hat. I mean, I'm still getting wet. Hmm? Huh? Where'd everyone else go? Yada! <laughs> Basket hat all the way. Quick, somebody grab the bamboo flute. <laughs> That's what they want to see, I guess.
Sup? So, what's the plan? Choosing between sake or mai tai? Ah, clever thought. But no, we'd actually like you to play darts against a lovely young woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Mm -hmm. It's a special segment. That's even going to be a penalty if you lose. Mm, sounds like some old Japanese late night show. Come on out, Marlin. Oh, I'm gonna lose. She's a pro, isn't she? Now, Kazuki-san, Marlin-chan, I'd like to see both of you select the darts you play with. Alright. Throwing stars. Let me guess. Throwing stars are on that table. God damn. Well, I can see where this is going. That dark teleported her hand. Marlin Chan has made her choice. Kazuki san, it's up to you now. Yeah, but. Uh, okay. Man. Do I want the shuriken, the shuriken, or the shuriken? I think it's shuriken. Uh, they're all shuriken. Well, then, well, guess I'll take this one. Sick! Go, ninja, go, ninja, go! Go, ninja, go, ninja, go! Ninjutsu for the win. Believe. Oh, I'm not the biggest Naruto fan. <laughs> Good luck, ninja. Kazuga. <laughs> Jeez. First I'm a samurai, now I'm a ninja. Huh? Leave it to me. Alright, let's do it. I'm going to lose. I could have told you I'd suck. Like, I never throw a shuriken before. <laughs> <laughs> Come back another time, ninja boy. Sadly, Kazuka-san, you have to take responsibility for this loss. Give me the penalty. Indeed, the price to regain your honor is high, but we're not without pity. Please, choose your preferred method. Uh, please don't make me cut my finger. Oh, no. Hold on, this is crazy. I'm not gonna mutilate myself on um, some TV no. show. But Kazuka-san, you lost face. Surely it's the way of the warrior, the Yakuza, the samurai. Steal yourself for absolution. Let's make it clear. I'm not any of those things. The Japanese people won't cut their fingers off for losing at darts. <sighs> oh, really? You kind of thought, you know, it was just part of your lifestyle. <sighs> If I lost a finger every time I lost a game, <laughs> I would have been born with ten hands. <laughs> That's a fair point, I suppose. Hmm, okay. We'll save your punishment for something more severe. Sure, at this point. And in this case, use an all-time classic penalty from Japanese variety shows. What? I... I apparently don't watch Japanese reality shows because I don't get it. <laughs> Japanese comedy kick ass! <laughs> Should've just gone with the Sudoku. <laughs> uh... Oh, I feel bad for him. We've got a ton of great footage now. I say we take this to the beach for the final activity. What's the plan there? What would you say is snorkeling beneath the ocean waves, Kazuka-san? <sighs> You're asking me to breathe through a bamboo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Ah. Yo. Well, well, look who it is. Been a while, hasn't it, Nathan? Oh. oh. Are they the boys from high school? Uh, uh, hello, James. What brings you out here? <laughs> Location shoot for a new studio flick. You know how it is. Had some time to spare, so I thought I'd take it in the beach. You two friends? Yeah, this is James. We were in film school together. Everyone back, the, everyone back then said he was a genius, and now he's a big-time director in Hollywood. <laughs> Still chasing after those Japanese terrorists? Like some, oh, what you call yourself, an otake? 
We're gonna see some folk never change. Nathan, fly by night TV directors will stay fly by night TV directors. <laughs> shut up, James! And it's Otaku. <laughs> right, of course. That was your excuse for never socializing, huh? Had to watch your samurai movies. We threw most the most amazing parties back at school, while well, this one just stayed inside and studied his blade. <laughs> it's scary how Japanese culture can turn men into such losers. James, say whatever you want about me, but I won't really speak about Japan that way. What the shit? Open your eyes. Look at the world, Nathan. People pay for epic sci-fi battles and its beautiful backdrops with cutting-edge CG. They want superheroes, baby, not samurai. No studio's gonna finance a movie about some ancient katana-twirling losers. That shit's never even really happened that way. Until you figure that out, you'll be stuck Mason making basic cable shows about old stereotypes. The mark of every third-rate director is that they couldn't keep up with the times. You're gonna have to wind up old and dusty, just like those black and whites you love by. Uh, what's the name? Kurosama? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you may know better than me what, about what's popular, but that doesn't mean you know about film. You don't huh? even care. It's Kurosawa, you baka! Oh, Jesus, man, no! Don't. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> All the samurai and yakuza shit, and you're still some skinny geek. Hit the gym, sword lord. <laughs> Apologize to Japanese cinema. What the shit? I honestly can't believe this guy. You know, we're filming the climax of my new flick soon. I've got this great shot with a burly hero's KOs and the Poindexter villain. Let me show you how it goes. <laughs> Damn. Damn it all. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? One another take. Huh. What's your problem? No comprehendo Japanese old buddy? So just move aside. Hold on! I've never I've been trying to tell this guy all day that I'm no buy special. Half-assed hero. At best. But what does but that doesn't mean I won't stand up to bullies what like the you. What the shit? Huh? Even if you are some big shot, what gives you the right to mock someone that means uh, make mock something that makes so much this means so much to someone else? What the hell is this guy talking about? What's wrong with having something that inspires you? If there's anything out there in the world that gives you strength, then that's amazing. Nathan found something like that for himself. He has my respect. Kazuka-san, if you can't understand that, then some trendy hack like you would never make great movies. Huh, is that right? Hope you're watching, Nathan. I'm gonna make Mr. Japan Man here grovel on the ground. I'll kill you and they won't even cancel me for it. Um, you're jumping to killing? Let's do it. Oh, I'm fighting asshole. All right, so the fight asshole. All right. Bye, asshole. Asshole's down. Here we go. Actually, um. Goodbye. We have beaten asshole. Not an end of the Alright. What's 
what's with this guy? That's all you got? After trampling on someone else's dreams? Nathan's got more spine than you ever will. Damn it! I won't forget this! Hey, you all right? Uh, arigato. Kasuga-san. I knew it from the start. You're a Japanese hero, like in the movies. Walking with strength, but also with restraint. Willing to fight to help the weak. You're just like... a real... Samurai, compared to you, I'm nothing but dirt. If I couldn't handle such an over-the-top villain like him, I could never be a... Uh. You're wrong. Uh -huh. Defending something important to you, getting back up after being knocked down, that's what heroes do in the movies. And you just did all that in real life. Nathan, you're a fine samurai. Kasuka-san. And hey, you show me a great time today. Hawaii is amazing, but it's nice to meet someone so interested in where I'm from. Just do me a favor and broaden your ideas about Japan a bit more. <laughs> I guess that's fair. James may be an asshole, but some things he said were true. True enough, anyway. I love Japanese culture and cinema, but I might have been enjoying it on a superficial level. Ninja and samurai sure look cool, but they're not caricatures. They were real. Some had convictions, but they were people. Flaws and all. Making the show, we didn't care about that. We wanted to pretend every Japanese person was some cartoon hero. It was simpler that way, somehow. But watching you just now, Kasuka-san, I can't keep that up in good conscience. When you were fighting to protect me, I was able to look up and see you in silhouette. It was a frame right out of a classic film. You projected strength, nobility, without saying a word. <laughs> Come on. Before, I told you I want to make movies like Kurosawa. Truth is, I was getting close to giving up for good. It would be easy, you know, resigning myself to making small-time TV for the rest of my career. I can't go back to that after meeting you. Even if it's just me and my friends, I'll create something that makes people feel the way I do. Something true and honest. From my heart. I know you can do it. Hang on to that dream and don't take shortcuts. You'll be a great director. Let me know when you're done. I'll be the first in line at the theater. Yes. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, hey. I promised you some bonus pay, right? Um... I hope this is to your liking. Huh? Uh, what is this? Uh... Bright yellow sweets, my lord. <laughs> right. The classic samurai bribe. Nathan, I see we are both unscrupulous men. As you say, my lord. <laughs> 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 oh, that one's cute. Mm. Bright yellow sweets. Times two. Dessert the heels. Th oh, saving that. I can hire Nathan as a pound mate. What's he going to do? It's my question. I'm gonna call it. I'm, I'm happy with how this is all going. But yeah. Um, we got a little story done today. We got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hey. <laughs> I feel, look at him in the back. He's like, uh, just sleep already. Meanwhile, Kazuga's like, just, yeah. Shiryu doesn't care. And, uh, it's fun. Yeah, I think I played enough for now. Oh, let me do that. No, go back to the pause. Thank you. I absolutely hate to accidentally start a battle. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here for the night. I got a decent bit done today. <laughs> but yeah. Walk the way of the samurai. And good night.